If we are not careful about the number of rows we work between cables, we could end up with cables that are too short, like this one over here, or too long, like this one over there. To prevent this issue, we should keep track of the rows, but we don't have to do it all the time. With a little trick that I'm going to show you in a moment, you can check the number of rows whenever you feel that it could be time to cross the stitches again. Because cables are usually worked uh, over an even number of rows, then if you're working back and forth, it makes sense to stop after you finish the wrong side row, because cables are usually crossed in the right side row. If you are working in the round, then stop after any round whenever you feel that it could be time to cross the stitches again. Then insert the knitting needle into a hole that is created by the previous crossing. So every time we cross stitches to make a cable, we create two holes, at one at each side of the cross. And you can use any of these holes. So go into that hole. They're not visible, but they're fairly easy to find. Insert the knitting needle from front to back into that hole, and then push it back right underneath the working needle in a spot that is at the end of the same column of stitches, like this. And there you have it. All these strands are sitting on the needle just waiting to be counted and each strand represents a row. So if I count the number of rows that I worked since the last crossing of this cable, I would have six rows. If I count rows that I worked since I crossed the cable over here, then I would go into that hole, then out right underneath the needle, and that reveals four strands. That means I worked four rows over here. So here you have it, a super simple way to know how many rows you worked since you crossed the cable the previous time. Now that you know this little trick, I hope you will never have to unravel your work because you missed the row when you were supposed to cross stitches to make a cable. To read this tutorial as a set of step-by-step -step photo instructions, go to tenrowsaday.com slash count dash cable dash rows. To download it as a PDF, join the club at tenrowsaday.com slash club. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful week. I'll see you in the next tutorial.